Just over a month ago, I created this video where I went through every weapon damage talent that you can roll onto your trusty weapon and rank them based on the weapon damage buff they deliver, how easy they are to trigger, and the number of weapons they can be used on. So I was overjoyed to see that many weapon talents are being rebalanced in Year 6 Season 2, and the thought struck me. Will this change the weapon talent meta? Spoiler, yes it will. Let's have a look at the tier list I came up with. Nearly half of these talents have been buffed and there is one additional talent that I didn't look at before, which now might be the best weapon damage talent in the game. But let's start with the worst weapon damage talent in the game, Pumped Up. This is getting a pretty massive 20% buff, but let's be honest, getting a penis extension when you suffer from ED is just as useful because the trigger mechanic is never going to work. Brazen is getting a 17% buff and I don't really know why. It already dealt top tier damage and the reason it wasn't getting more use was because Pummel addressed the main issue with shotguns better. The long reload times. The key challenge with Behind You was its trigger mechanic and that it was limited to just rifles and marksman rifles. With these weapons being changed to automatic fire in Year 6 Season 2, the 33% buff the talent is getting might make it more attractive, but not for solo players. If you're trying to create a weapon damage build, you aren't going to be rolling skill tiers onto your gear. All the things you need to make the talent work. Decoys, turrets and drones will last two seconds before a horde of angry enemies turn their guns on you and the talent is fucking useless. The reason Breadbasket didn't do better in my original tier list was not because it didn't slap, it did, but it's just painful to get the most out of it and that isn't changing. The Vindictive talent gets a very small buff, a talent that remains a good option if you're in a coordinated team, something I've heard about in Legends but never seen. As I said in my original video, Measured is one of those talents that, because of its wording, no one really understands whether it is any good or not. It is good, and the buff it is getting will make it even better. If it weren't for changes to two other talents, this would be a serious contender for the best in slot. Ignited Eyeless and Sadis were already solid talents, so the increased amplified weapon damage buff has the potential to make them top tier. Sadis in particular looks interesting with the buff. It was already the easiest to trigger due to gear pieces like Ridgeway's Pride and the ongoing directive gear set, which is receiving a very nice buff itself to its solo player damage. This may have some real potential if it goes live like this. The buff to the Ranger talent it's just not good enough to make it particularly viable against the alternatives. In a world where Determined or Flatline or Brazen didn't exist, maybe, but they do. I'm sure plenty of players will be excited by the buff to Optimist and still not realise that because weapon damage is additive, that this is still the most overrated talent in the game. Easy to use, but just not that good. Killer is one of the best, but underused weapon damage talents in the game, mainly because players don't understand how often it procs in practice, and it is getting an enormous buff. The only downside to it is that Perfect Killer with its 90% critical hit damage buff is found on Dark Winter, which is a 0.45 vector. With the changes coming in Year 6 Season 2, this will now be one of the worst sustained DPS SMGs, and only mid-table for burst. Check out DJ Tickle's videos on the weapon changes for all the details. Cells. Still, the basic killer will be one of the best weapon damage talents you can put onto your weapon, as long as you're running a crit build of course, but it does have a competitor which I didn't see coming. Perfect Allegro. This is a talent found on the AUG Assault Rifle Invisible Hand, which with the proposed changes will buff Rate of Fire by a very strong 22%, and Rate of Fire translates one for one into higher DPS. This is a big buff. And what is more, the AUG Assault Rifle is getting a nice buff with Year 6 Season 2, making it the third best for sustained DPS. It is low down for burst DPS, but with this Rate of Fire buff, the Invisible Hand looks like it might be a great weapon to farm for now. Look out for a full update video on weapon damage talents once everything goes live.